Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to this IAC Acoustics webinar. Today's topic will be NBH test enclosures, and uh, my name is Ted Marquis, and I'll be your presenter today. Hope everybody is doing well, um, and I hope you get uh, something valuable out of this this webinar. Uh, my information is on the screen currently. Uh, my email address is down there at the bottom at tmarquis at iacacoustics.com, as well as some phone number information and our website. Uh, if you'd like a copy of this presentation, uh, I'd be more than happy to email that to you. Or if you have any questions you think of later on, uh, I can send that to you as uh, send that through uh, the email as well. We'll have some time at the end of the presentation to take some questions. So if you do have any, um, there is a uh, question window that you can type into, and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll answer those uh, as best we can there. So um, go to the next slide here. So. Again, my name is Ted Marquis. Uh, this is some basic information about me. I've been around the acoustic world for a while, a little over uh, about uh, 23 or 24 years, something like that. So I've been around a while. Uh, I've seen a lot of different things. Uh, my background is a design, is design engineering as well, but um, let's get on to the, the better stuff. MVH test enclosure. So today's presentation, we'll kind of go over, um, we'll start with just some basic IAC acoustics company info. Um, kind of who we are, if you don't know that. Um, uh, and then we'll talk about specifically what is MBH or what does that mean. Talk about some advantages that IAC can offer uh, in this type of test enclosure. Um, we'll go over um, some basics on how we you, uh, provide a predictable or repeatable uh, result or field within the enclosure. Uh, we'll go over uh, one of the more important aspects is the access systems or doors. Um, and then uh, we'll show you some applications and some different markets that we approach with our enclosure systems. Uh, and then lastly, we'll just we'll just have some basic, you know, I'll have my contact information again and uh, some additional website, a basic uh, website thing. So there'll be pictures uh, throughout the um, presentation of some different types of MBH enclosures. And I'll, I'll kind of just bri briefly describe those. Uh, this one will show up a couple of times, but that's basically uh, an enclosure designed with a specific ambient sound level inside the enclosure of less than 28 uh, uh, dBA, and they're testing uh, seat frames in there. So um, that enclosure was designed specifically for that purpose. So we'll go on to the next slide. So IAC Acoustics is now part of the Catalyst Acoustics Group. Um, Catalyst Acoustics Group is a parent, as our parent company, is a group of a very diverse or elite group of acoustic seismic vibration isolation. Uh, and other noise control companies that together offer the, really the broadest portfolio in the market today of any noise control solution or system. IAC Acoustics was established in 1949 in the Bronx, New York by Martin Hershorn on Jackson Avenue. Uh, we've been around ever since making quality high-end acoustic products, systems, uh, and um, we're very proud of that heritage. So what is NVH? Well, basically it stands for noise, vibration, and harshness. And it's a measure of how much unpleasant um, oral or tactical feedback the car delivers as you drive or vehicle uh, as you operate it. Uh, so put more simply, NVH actually means the noise is what you can hear, the vibration is what you feel, and the harshness is how much of an effect thumps and bumps and other noise and vibration have on the vehicle cabin and its occupants. <clears throat> Excuse me. Removing and isolating passengers from NDH is a field that's seen monumental advances over the past few decades. IAC Acoustics provides test environments to manufacturers to give them appropriate feedback on their, on their products, systems, and processes. Specifically, we're going to, uh, NVH is going to specifically look at things like wind noise, varying motor speeds, powertrain noise, and road noise. So one of the first advantages that IAC offers in any enclosure system, and specifically in the NVH test environments that we provide, is the Moduline enclosure, or basically a modular design system. So um, whether it's noise is designed or the enclosure is designed to keep 
uh, noise from the equipment within the enclosure and not allowing it to escape or keeping noise on the outside of the enclosure from entering, the, the fit and finish of the modular system enables that in varying panel uh, performances. These performance rated panels, as well as the floors, vibration isolation systems, doors, windows, and vent systems are all required to maintain the acoustic integrity of the enclosure. Our high-end products in all those areas or all those disciplines enable one complete system without any ill effects from any of those. The panels are provided with both sound blocking and sound absorbing capability that create a very effective test environment. And in some cases, we'll provide panels with what we'll call hard panel or only sound blocking, where we're looking at a very high, high sound loss capability of the, of the system. The enclosure is designed to be airtight. Any small hump, small hole can compromise that performance, so we want to avoid that at all costs. And lastly, the modular design um, with its acoustic details, they, they rely, they provide a very simple and reliable installation. They also can, will provide the ability to um, move them if they need to be relocated at a time uh, later on in its lifespan, or uh, if they need to be modified or, or reduced or increased in size, that can be simply done without having to purchase a whole new system. The next slide here is of our of the Moduline uh, panels. Uh, as you can see, we have over over 20 plus standard panels that we can use, and um, each each panel has been tested in a NavLab certified facility. Uh, we we provide um, data down to 63 hertz octave and, and to 8K. So when we're talking about the repeatable and predictable um, environments which the enclosure is designed to meet, um, we use this data to do that. All the way from STC 40 and up to 70. We also, uh, not shown on here, we do have panel system that will get us to an STC 74 as well. The next advantage we'll talk about is the IAC noise lock doors. Again, as I mentioned before, in a modular system, with doors and windows for that matter, we, we want the STC ratings or the acoustic performance of those individual components to match so that, that they don't compromise the overall capability of the system. So as you can see, our standard, our standard offering goes from STC 51 all the way to NIC 70. And the NIC 70 performance would be a, a double outswing door or one door swinging in, one door swinging out. The next advantage is the tranquil air ventilation systems provided by IAC. One of the most important things, particularly in NVH, when we're dealing with any sort of vehicle, whether fuel be on board or or it be uh, uh, stored and uh, and pumped into the into the component that's being tested, we, we have to specifically engineer each system on its own unique basis. And we'll look at the things that are required, such as the amount of combustion air. Um, we'll keep, uh, in many cases, any exhaust extraction separate. Uh, and then we'll also look at cooling air. Um, in some cases where fuel is not on board, uh, we'll, we'll design scavenger plenums to remove the pollutants that tend to settle in the lower and corner parts of these NVH type chambers. In a couple of pictures here, you can kind of see some of the, the different unique um, and customer specific designs that we come up with to handle the airflow. Because again, each, um, each chamber, whether it's hemianechoic, as you can see in this picture, or it's a, a general sound control enclosure, each one is, is designed specifically to meet those requirements, looking at things like horsepower, heat rejection loads, um, and how we control or move the air through the system. We take a look at all those things specifically. The next uh, thing we'll talk about as an IAC advantage is the metadyne anechoic lining. So in the case where we're looking at anechoic chambers or specifically hemianechoic chambers in NDH, um, the uh, Metadyne Wedge was a joint design actually by uh, IAC New York and the Ford Motor Company. 
Uh, this is now a, a design that's copied by some of our leading competitors. Each wedge provides a known acoustic performance with over 20 years of success in this industry. It's really the safest wedge option for NVH because it does provide fire rated materials. It's very durable. Uh, we provide a lifetime guarantee on the steel facing. And you can paint this any color with our powder coat system as they are manufactured in house. IAC can also provide turnkey designs and accessories. You can see here, this is kind of an extreme example, but a project we're very proud of from 2011, actually, uh, with Cummins up in Fridley, Minnesota. This was a hemi anechoic chamber designed to test um, gin sets at 50 hertz cutoff frequency. And uh, we took the, the project basically from a design concept from ground up, including the building structure um, and all the ancillary mechanical equipments all tied in together to provide one full system. So we have that you know, capability on a very large scale as well as a very small scale as well. Some of the other, other things we provide with, with our packages are, are design, uh, with our turnkey designs or accessories such as wedge, ba wedge baskets, pass-through sleeves, unique window applications, uh, we can include uh, dynamometer packages as well, obviously lights and electrical, and any type of service penetration, which may require fire, um, data, uh, electrical drops, um, all that can be provided. So the next slide we'll talk about is the repeatable and predictable test environment. So as I mentioned before, we have um, you know, lab rated performance data on all of our panels, and we do that from 63 hertz to 8,000 hertz. Um, that enables us to really take a good look at what the requirement is and how we're going to get there. Um, and that's going to be whether that's factory pre-assembled on a smaller enclosure where we actually build, physically build the entire test enclosure within our own facility and ship it directly to you uh, to be ready to use, or if we're going to field install that in a turnkey sense. We take that lab rated performance data, combine that with background sound levels, and we can provide that or help you assist you with that in the field. Um, we'll take that data, um, that octave band data, and we will design acoustically the right, we'll pick the right panel and design the basic shell of the enclosure to meet the required performance inside. Uh, in the cases where they are pre-assembled, we can factory validate those for you so we can have a, a buy-off at our facility. Um, we have that capability to bring you in and um, and run a run a test for you there. Um, as I mentioned before, the module design does allow for future expansion and relocation. These are fully integrated with our sound control doors, windows, and vent systems. Uh, in the case where we need um, integrated structural capability, such as bridge cranes, uh, we can provide that as well with PE certification in every state in the U.S. Um, and, uh, and again, I you know, mentioned the high quality fit and finish. Um, we take pride in our work, and, um, and we're, you know, even though it's industrial, sometimes uh, people think that ah, it's industrial, but you know, we want everything to uh, look as polished and as perfect as can be. So, so next, we're going to talk about the virtual door systems we offer. Um, modular enclosures are compatible with our high-performing noise lock sound rated doors. Again, uh, STC 51 to 64 is a standard uh, standalone door, and we can go up to 70 with a double a double outswing door. Um, all of our door systems integrate into our, our panel joiner system. And the windows are also um, available to match the system STC rating. But more importantly, um, with most MDH chambers, specific access to the enclosure, whether that's product on a cart through a conveyor um, or very large or, or oversized objects, uh, we have the ability to provide you with almost any configuration. So in this case, you know, in a simple um, you know, dynamometer uh, type chamber setting, we have an oversized door to allow the vehicle to come in and out. We can power operate these doors should that be desirable. We have high rated sliding doors uh, to keep the, the process moving in the factory. We can even do, you know, doors within doors if that is desirable. Um, some other types of sliding doors on smaller enclosures, again, very large or oversized doors into test cells, 
um, and, and sliding doors that are powered uh, or manual. Um, again, all these access points are designed for inline production or offline standalone enclosures, whatever, whatever the case may be or whatever the need may be. We can help you with that. The next slide here is of our um, our newest uh, highly high-performing sliding door. So again, in smaller MVH test cells, as I mentioned, this is testing seat tracks and you kind of see the, the seat frame in there. Um, requirement in this in, in this case for this enclosure was, as I mentioned before, um, an ambient interior sound level of less than 28 dBA while the enclosure sat on a factory floor. So this is a six-sided enclosure on isolation components. So it has a floor in it, so it's completely isolated from the structure of the, of the, of the plant. Um, but the, the project required an STC-61 sliding door. Now we say STC-61 sliding door, but more importantly, it's the octave data that we have that tuned the, the door requirement to meet the desired inside level given the ambient factory level outside. And we integrated that into our panel system with some pneumatics uh, to get it to move, and I'll play, uh, play this short little video clip for you. So this enclosure moves on two axes. Um, that's about a four and a half inch stroke required to close that triple sealed door. Um, but we're very proud of that. Not, not, uh, not too many of our competitors can offer an STC 61 sliding door. And again, where NVH needs to be happening within a plant um, can be really critical. Another style of sliding doors um, is our, our cam style doors. So this, this door rides on a cam track here and then basically enables the door to, to cam in or compress the seals against the, the outside of the enclosure. Uh, we have this as a single outer door or single inner door. Uh, and we also have a inner and outer double door. So we can actually get up to uh, an STC 55 and an STC 51 with, um, with a single door. Um, again, the system integrates into our joiner system. I can play this video for you as well. And, kind of, <clears throat> and, and this was a mock-up, so safety isn't really, uh, we have safety light curtains and other things that we can provide, but um, in this case, this was done for a mock-up. Um, you can see here, you can see the cam track, and you can kind of see the door. There's an inner door here, uh, and as the door comes closed, it, it, it cams the door. In and what you can't see is the seals, but that, that half inch of compression on those seals is what's vital to make the sound uh, of the enclosure and the performance work. So some of the MBH test enclosure markets we'll discuss next. I mean, um, obviously some of the markets we serve are really the automotive market or vehicle test or MBH specifically, um, as well as the automotive tier one, tier two, and tier three suppliers. Um, and we also uh, work in markets with component research and development and compliance testing. So as um, as the, the cabin interior sound levels of cars becomes quieter, it's important for the automotive suppliers, um, part suppliers or component suppliers such as HVAC um, modules, uh, sunroofs and seats or, or components that are tested often to comply with the manufacturer's specification for sound level. Um, we provide those enclosures uh, that they can test their components in, and we'll, we'll have a few slides of those coming up. In addition, we have uh, hemianechoic and anechoic chambers, pass-by chambers we'll talk about, engine test chambers, product test chambers, and uh, lastly, reverberation rooms. So anecho anechoic rooms um, are designed for a predictable result and repeatable day in and day out. They provide sufficient noise control to keep the background noise inside the space under a specific level. They'll provide a spherical or hemispherical acoustical free field down to a specific specified frequency or, or the frequency known as the cutoff frequency. The relevant standards we build these chambers to are ISO 3745, ISO 3744, and including ISO 26101. These allow for acoustic tractivity and analysis of the sound. 
The next slide is of our hemianechoic test chambers. On the left, we have a pretty standard um, 100 hertz hemianechoic chamber. And on the right, we have our planar choic or flat wedge module, um, 150 hertz room. Uh, these are all designed, again, to meet the specified interior sound level and, and to meet the specified cutoff frequency given the ISO specifications, whether that's 3744 or 3745. IAC Acoustics designs and manufactures these test chambers and structures that provide specific controlled acoustical environments in which to perform accurate and repeatable testing for NDH research and automotive production line quality control. With advances in room acoustics, test equipment, simulation, and signal processing, it is possible to conduct noise measurement indoors with a high degree of accuracy. IAC Acoustics has been at the forefront of providing acoustic testing facilities to the automotive market. With over 70 years of experience, IAC Acoustics has led the way through innovation, and we're the first company to introduce, as I mentioned before, the metal clad anechoic wedge for use in NBH testing facilities. Vehicle semi anechoic chambers are typically used for the measurement of inner and outer noise and vibration of a car with two wheel drive or four wheel drive. And, and this is done typically during run up and coast down or at a constant speed. And this will include the measurement of intake and exhaust, engine compartment, steering wheel, and seat rail vibrations. And again, all of our chambers are. are that we supply are designed to meet the technical compliance of ISO standards 3744, 3745, and 26101. Here's a couple other pictures of some semi anechoic chambers for NVH. Next slide here is of a pass by chamber. So road traffic noise is a main contributor to the environmental noise and is intended to be reduced and limited by legislation in order to increase health and life quality. Vehicle pass-by noise tests are conducted according to the international standard ISO 362, which quantifies the noise emission of a vehicle in an urban traffic environment. And this is done by testing on an outdoor track. Traditional Field pass by measurements are still the only way to clear, uh, excuse me, to certify a vehicle for exterior noise emission during operation. <clears throat> but an indoor pass by test chamber provides an extremely powerful and repeatable method for troubleshooting the exterior vehicle noise in a controlled environment of a hemi anechoic chamber. Instead of making the test vehicle pass two stationary microphones, indoor pass by measurements place a row of microphones alongside the test vehicle, as you see here in this picture. <clears throat> While the vehicle runs on a chassis dynamometer and accelerated in the same way as it would be for a traditional pass-by measurement. This particular slide is of our pass-by chamber at Harley-Davidson from Wisconsin. And you can see again we have a, some unique ventilation systems that were designed into the system to specifically meet the criteria for Harley-Davidson. The next type of NVH chamber we'll, we'll talk about are shake and rattle test chambers. Shake and rattle facilities are typically used at the end of a production line before a vehicle leaves the factory. This is a final acoustic test that ensures there are no panels with squeak or rattle. Small unwanted noises within a vehicle cabin are one of the main reasons for returns to dealerships post-purchase, and this helps to avoid dissatisfied customers. This is really important. IAC Acoustics can provide a turnkey service for shake and rattle rooms, providing sound control for the hydraulic four post test rig. In addition, we provide acoustic treatments in the pit of the hydraulic four post, which we leave down below underneath the vehicle, so that we don't have extraneous noise inside the chamber from the hydraulics. These rooms are designed to isolate factory noise so that the operation operation of the vehicle under the test condition, those squeaks and rattles can be identified. Now, if you haven't seen a shake and rattle room firsthand, I have a, a quick video of one of our chambers at a Nissan facility in Tennessee. Let me play this for you here. So you turn the volume up maybe. It's mostly what you hear is outside factory noise.
So while it's not overly violent, as you may think, with shake and rattle, but it does enable the operator of the vehicle to uh, identify um, those squeaks and rattles. So the next slide is um, similar to squeak and rattle, it's, or uh, shake and rattle, it's more squeak and buzz. It's more component testing. So in this sense, um, the, uh, this enclosure is for a seat manufacturer that are placing the seats on a fixture on top of a MB dynamic shaker and uh, it helps them in identify any little squeaks or buzzes that may come from the operation of the, of the seat uh, while it's under normal operating conditions. These are, in this case, these are commercial seats more for uh, large semi trucks or heavy equipment and uh, they would endure much more than a, than a standard um, uh, passenger vehicle might. So this is a nice example of a IAC modular enclosure. That's again, this was designed for a specific ambient um, inside level of less than 30 dBA. Um, in, the, in the case of this room, uh, it's, it, it's a room within a room, so that was a little more achievable. We did have to apply some sound absorption up here to uh, lower the reverberation of this um, lab that the, the chamber sits in. Uh, the next slide is of an airbag, airbag test. We mentioned earlier, or I showed you earlier, um, we have panel performances up to STC 70. And this is a this is a case where we do have to do that. You can see in this picture here that that wall thickness is 12 inches, so that's a four-inch panel, a four-inch airspace, and then another four-inch panel for an STC of 70. Because testing airbags is really noisy and is dangerous as well, um, but we're dealing with controlled explosions and instantaneous noise levels in excess of 140 dB. So airbag testing can have a detrimental effect on health of the staff uh, or anybody working in the vicinity if it's not managed correctly. So we designed these facilities to um, to really drop that, that sound level from 140 down to a more acceptable, reasonable level within the factory. The next slide is of our dynamometer test cells. These are specifically designed for more, not necessarily for NVH, but more for uh, testing of the vehicle performance and tuning. Uh, these are these chambers are designed um, really to keep contain the noise within the chamber, so it does not um, flood the ambient levels uh, outside on the factory floor or in the shop. Uh, again, these chambers are designed with specific ventilation requirements, where we look at things like horsepower, um, how long you know the, the run rate of the vehicle and the um we're going to look at the throttle position where you're running that wide open or you're running that at 20 percent or some other road condition so the the dynamometers that we manufacture for the testing is a testing of engines motorcycles and other vehicles and components um, it's a central process for tuning and troubleshooting and even r d development um, as well as endurance testing and verification of horsepower and torque The next slide is of our, what we call a wheel dynamometer. So in powertrain uh, NVH chambers uh, for acoustic testing, the powertrain testing is typically carried out in a hemianechoic chamber to ensure high acoustic absorption rate. A typical layout for the powertrain test cells is with two or four independent dynamometers sitting outside of the chamber, leaving only the engine or drivetrain uh, or and drivetrain inside the hemianechoic cell. IAC powertrain chambers allow functional testing of various powertrain and transmission types in a virtual vehicle environment. So in cases where the constraints place the dynamometer or wheel dynamometers inside the chamber, these types of closures control the dyno sound to provide optimization of the powertrain and driveline component testing. And this will be an example of that here. This is a, a semi-anechoic semi chamber uh, and then these enclosures are controlling the sound of the wheel dynamometers. Next slide is of an engine test cell. Engine noise test cells are typically environments for testing a standalone engine, usually hemi-anechoic in design. The engine test cell shares many characteristics with our hemi-anechoic vehicle chambers, but without a chassis dynamometer. Engine test cells typically have a cutoff frequency of 125 hertz, and feature a coupled exhaust extraction system, independent ventilation and cooling, in a conditioned aspiration air intake setup, 
and the ability to accommodate either an AC or DC engine dynamometer. We can provide a complete solution to acoustic engine testing facilities, whether the requirement is just for an acoustic package, including doors and windows, and anechoic wedges, or a turnkey solution. We're again specifically looking at ventilation requirements. The turnkey service is available in all of our IAC acoustics engine test cells, um, and we'd be more than happy to discuss that with you further. Additionally, we provide um, product test anechoic and hemi anechoic chambers. Um, so, the, the kind of be clear, an anechoic chamber really can be considered analogous to a precision acoustical measurement instrument providing a free, free field environment without noise interference. An acoustical free field exists in a homogeneous isotropic medium in which reflecting boundaries or their effects are absent. In an ideal field environment, the inverse square law would function perfectly. This means that the sound level from a spherically radiating sound source decreases six decibels for each doubling of distance from the source. A room designed and constructed to provide such an environment is called an anechoic room. There are a couple examples of a hemi and one full. We also offer um, for more for component testing. Uh, we would say our production or inline test booths. So these, these enclosures are designed to stay in the flow of product uh, to not stop that, that production rate or slow that production rate down or, or change it significantly. Um, and again, these are designed to meet specific interior requirements. As well as the inline, we do offer online specific designed enclosures that are designed again to meet the critically interior sound level performance given the factory that it's going to be located in. And lastly is our uh, our website. Just if you want more information or download some case studies, um, you can go to iacacoustics.com and go to the test facilities and automotive test chambers and MDH section um, for more information. I want to thank you for attending this webinar. I hope that was informative for you. I do have some time for any questions. If anybody has any questions they'd like to ask, you may go ahead. I'll give you a few minutes. Okay, I don't see any questions, so I hope again you've enjoyed this. If you'd like a copy of this webinar, please shoot me an email at tmarquis at iacacoustics.com. I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions you may think of later. Thank you and have a great day.